What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to talk about how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow a YouTube channel, and then the most common questions I get about my YouTube channel. And I'm just gonna to try to give you guys a bunch of advice and a bunch of things I've learned over the past four months that hopefully will make your journey with the YouTube channel a lot easier or answer your questions about how YouTube works if you're just a viewer. If you guys aren't interested in how YouTube works or aren't interested in starting your channel, this video isn't for you. If you guys are into that, let's jump into it. The most common question I get regarding YouTube is how to grow your channel and what differentiates a successful channel from a channel that's not doing so well. There's a couple things. The most important thing is you guys have to be posting consistently. I post twice a week. That's probably not enough. If I could post four or five times a week, I certainly would. But honestly, YouTube has turned into a quantity game. You certainly don't want your videos to look like crap or not be very good but it does pay off to post a lot. It does pay off to be consistent and get people checking in on your YouTube channel two, three, four times a week and seeing if there's a new video. The next thing that's really important is tying all your social media to your YouTube channel and getting people from your Instagram, your Facebook, your Snapchat, your TikTok, all of your social media and getting them to go on your YouTube and subscribe to it. You can do this through posting on your social media. You can do this through sending people messages on Facebook. You can do this through posting your videos to groups on Facebook. There's tons of different ways to advertise your videos to people and that's how I grew my channel rather quickly was promoting those videos on a wide variety of different platforms and to a wide variety of people. Another common question I get is what do you need to start a YouTube channel? This is really simple. You've got a really nice camera on your phone. You can make some awesome videos with just your phone. Don't worry about really expensive gear until you get into it. A lot of the biggest YouTubers and still some of my videos are shot off my phone or shot off of a $300 GoPro. So don't worry about super expensive gear. Focus on content that people will find interesting. Find something that's your little niche that other people aren't posting a lot and you'll have success on YouTube. A lot of people wonder what you need to start making money on YouTube. I know I covered this in my last video. You need 4,000 watch hours and you need 1,000 subscribers. You can get there rather quickly if you're promoting your channel really well, if you're staying consistent and you're posting really good content. It shouldn't take you more than six months to a year to reach the point where you can start making money on YouTube if you're putting in the time and the effort. A couple other really good tips for building a YouTube channel is have a schedule. If you guys know that you can get two videos done a week, post them on a certain night at relatively the same time. Having a schedule really helps your viewers know when the videos are gonna be posted, and it really helps get a lot of views in the first couple hours, which really helps your video get recommended through YouTube. I get asked a lot what gear I have. My main filming camera is a Canon Vixia GX10. I also have a GoPro 9, which I'm currently filming this video on, and then I use a MacBook laptop to edit all my videos. Another really important thing to being a video creator is having enough storage for all your videos. You guys can order these hard drives off of Amazon. They're like 50 bucks. They hold four terabytes worth of data. So you can hold all the videos you probably ever make on one of these hard drives. And it really helps to store your footage and be able to use footage from a year ago that you got if it's relevant in a current video. A lot of people also ask what they should make videos about. And I don't really have an answer for this. There are YouTube channels that make videos on the weirdest things. There's people that make videos on the most simple tasks. You guys can literally make videos on anything you want. People find the weirdest things interesting. People find the most simple things interesting. People find enjoyment in all areas of life. So if you're making a video that's quality, if you're making a video that can hold somebody's attention, there's really no area or specific video type that does better than another. You gotta build your following, be consistent with what you post, and have your little niche. Besides that, there's no real rules as far as what content you should create. Obviously, there's a ton of questions about money, how YouTube works with money, how much money I make, all sorts of questions revolving money. I made a video last week about how much money I made. I'll link it right up here. Go check that out. It should answer any questions you have about money on YouTube, how much you can make, what to expect about revenue generation. It should answer all your questions about money. It should be able to give you guys an estimate on how much you could make on YouTube. I thought the video was pretty thorough on all aspects money related to YouTube. Those are all the viewers questions I have from this week. If you guys have more questions, leave a comment below. I'm gonna keep making these videos, hopefully once or twice a month to keep up with your guys' questions. Now I'm gonna answer a few questions I get a lot about my channel. The first most common question I get is, am I still with the hunting public? 
I'm actually going to school full time. I'm still in college. I'm a junior in college. I graduate not this May, but May of 2022. I will be joining the turkey tour from about May 10th to the end of the season. So I should be with the hunting public for like four weeks. We're still friends. I still talk to them all the time. We're going to do a lot of hunting and fishing over the summer. So although I'm not technically with them or I'm not employed by them, we'll still hang out, still make videos together. I still love those guys. Yeah, that's everything that has to do with the hunting public. The next thing I wanted to announce is we are going to have merchandise available within the next week. We'll have a website. We're gonna have some t-shirts and some stickers. Be on the lookout for that stuff to be available. If you guys are interested, buying a shirt would mean the world. It really helps us out. Another big announcement, last year I went every single day of turkey season here in Missouri. That's 20 days in a row. I'm gonna try to do that again. I'm gonna try to make a video about every hunt. So I don't know if I'll be posting every day, but I'm gonna try to crank out at least four videos a week, if not more than that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy watching us as we go through the turkey season. Not every video is gonna have a kill in it. There's gonna be some videos where it's pretty tough and pretty boring, but we're gonna try to show what the whole extent of a turkey season looks like, and hopefully you guys will enjoy following along with that. The last thing I wanted to cover is what content you guys can expect over the next couple months until we get back into waterfowl hunting in the fall. Obviously, we're gonna turkey hunt here for the next three weeks in Missouri. We got a trip to plan to Iowa to turkey hunt, to mushroom hunt. We're gonna make some videos on turkey calls, um, how those are made, and what turkey gear are our favorite. I'm gonna be making videos about my travels with the hunting public. I should be going to Wyoming, Montana, potentially North Dakota, Wisconsin, Iowa, maybe Michigan, maybe Minnesota. So there's gonna be a lot of turkey content in the next couple months. Over the summer, we've got a lot of trips planned. I'm planning to go to Michigan to walleye fish and salmon fish. I'm gonna hopefully meet up with Hayden and Jake from the hunting public and fish for smallmouths in some creeks in Wisconsin. I'm also planning on traveling to Arkansas for a couple weeks and doing some hog hunting. Hopefully me, Bryce, and T-Lane can all go on that. That sounds like it's gonna be a blast. I'm also planning to go with Jake's house in Wisconsin and we're gonna pigeon hunt, so that should be a lot of fun. Should have four or five videos of pigeon hunting. There's also gonna be a lot of bow fishing videos over the summer. Got to wait till it warms up, but we're definitely going to do quite a bit of bow fishing. The last bit of announcement is that Bryce and my buddy Braden are going to be bull riding again this summer. So hopefully we can make some videos of them practicing doing that. And then we're going to make a lot of videos of going to rodeos and them riding. So, so that should be a ton of fun. We may tell some stories about bull riding last summer. That's something totally different and something I really look forward to. I really hope I answered some of your questions about YouTube and I hope I answered some of your questions about my channel. And Be on the lookout for a lot of turkey videos in the next couple months. Be on the lookout for the apparel that should be dropping within the next week. Really appreciate all the support. We're going to hit the turkey woods. Best of luck for those that are hunting.